Alright, hey, it's me, Caleb, and I'm back with uh, another Gemini 200 model review. I know it's been quite a while since I've done one of these, and in fact, I think the last one I did was my Southwest Airlines Missouri one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but that was a while back, and uh, this was actually a model that I should say I, I kind of overlooked. Um, I received this model back in January uh, for my birthday, and... I uh, I just simply kind of overlooked it and and forgot to do a review on it. So here here I am six months later, uh, finally getting around to doing an unboxing review for it. Um, of course, in that meantime, you know I've been busy with school and and uh, trips and everything like that. So uh, it's nice to finally take a break and 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 have this uh, model to to review for you. Um, one thing I do want to mention though, however, before I get into this review. Um, I know that on my videos, if you follow my channel, uh, on YouTube, I do, typically, I have started to post, uh, uh, in the description of my videos, my next trips and where I'll be traveling to in the near future, where I'll be traveling to next, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and the most recent trip that I was supposed to take was actually this month, in June, um, I know it's the end of June now, but we were supposed to, I was supposed to fly uh, to Birmingham. So basically what happened was my family took a trip to Orlando, Florida, went to Disney World for the week. And we drove down there and then me and my sister were supposed to fly back uh, to Birmingham since that's where she lives. She lives in Birmingham. Obviously I'm in Louisiana now. Um, well, unfortunately... Uh, my entire family ended up getting sick. We all got a bad case of the stomach bug uh, towards the end of the trip. And so the day we were supposed to fly out, me and my sister, um, this past Saturday, uh, I was feeling pretty, pretty bad. Uh, I was, I was, I had just gotten sick, put it that way. So there was really no way I was going to be able to fly. So thankfully, if you're not aware, Southwest Airlines does... Uh, have a pretty good change uh, policy to where they won't charge you any change fees if you change uh, anywhere within 24 hours prior to your departure time, um, which is what we did. So basically, they refund you the ticket, and you can use that credit towards another Southwest flight in the future. Again, like I said, no change fees. I think Southwest is like the only airline uh, out there, uh, at least in the United States that I know of, that that has that policy. So. Uh, I was really happy to know that I wasn't going to lose my flight, lose my trip, or at least have to pay anything extra for changing my flight. It's the first time I've ever had to cancel a flight before. Uh, it, you know, in, really in my life, really, uh, that's the only time I've had to cancel. So it was nice to know that. Uh, thankfully, I chose Southwest for the flight, and that happened. Um, so definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely try to make that trip up to you in the near future. But unfortunately, uh, for now, that trip... Uh, won't be happening. That was definitely a no-go because we were all uh, pretty sick uh, at, towards the end of that trip. Um, however, what I can tell you is that uh, in, in two more months, at the end of uh, August, I will be taking a trip to Baltimore again. It's one of my favorite places to fly. We'll be flying Southwest, and uh, so hopefully I'll, I'll I'll try to do a flight uh, flight review. I know that's something I don't do a lot. Typically, I know that I'm typically I typically like to do the takeoff and landing videos, but I'd like to try to get into more of the flight reviews and kind of play around with that, see how it works out, try some different styles. Um, so you can definitely be looking forward to that flight uh, in August. Um, other than that, there is a chance that I might be going to Dallas next month, but that trip is still a little, uh, a little uncertain right now. We'll just have to play that one out by year, but if that is the case... Um, I will be flying, I think, American because my mom has some points uh, that she told me she could use towards that flight. So that would be pretty cool. Um, also, uh, back to the Baltimore trip, I would like to also, like I did last time when I went last year in, in, in the spring, uh, is do some more of the videos from the observation deck uh, at BWI because if you're not aware, BWI has an awesome observation deck if you've never been before and you're an aviation enthusiast like me, I strongly ingest going to check it out. It's public, it's free. You can sit there all day you want. Nobody will come and pug you, kick you out. Um, it's pretty relaxing up there. 
and you have a great overlook of the entire airport, especially if you're a Southwest fan like me. They have a pretty large presence in Baltimore. It's one of their hubs, uh, or uh, focus cities, I should say. But anyways, here's the model. It's the 737 MAX 8, of course, in the Hart Livery for Southwest. Uh, typic uh, the typical Gemini 200 box with the gold trim, the black box, um, and of course, the picture of the model on the front so let's get right into unboxing I know I've talked a lot here in the beginning of this video but I did have to clear clear some things up there especially with that uh, whole uh, Birmingham trip that I was supposed to take uh, here's the stand like uh, if you watch my videos you know I typically don't use my stand I have some shelves in my room that I uh, place these models and they just sit up there I'm on those sh display shelves but it does come in three pieces very easy to snap together and that's that Remove the foam and the model is underneath and it is like I said a beautiful model I think it is one of my new favorites so we'll go ahead and take it out carefully from the foam one thing I do want to mention too with this model is I noticed it does not I don't, I'm pretty sure it did not come with the retractable landing gear set so I think the only configuration for this model is the gear down configuration as you see here. Go ahead and place it on top of the box like that. <clears throat> and let's start from the front of the model. We'll give you a look down the middle. Really good model. I did not find anything wrong because sometimes you'll get the Gemini 200 models and there'll be a couple pieces that maybe are loose or maybe an antenna that fell off or something uh, this model came in in perfect condition so I was very pleased to see that anyway starting from the front obviously the entrance door with the tail number on the uh, front landing gear door 8705 is the registration on this aircraft the heart logo next to the entry door and of course Southwest written in billboard style across the fuselage of course, our new Hart Livery, which is being applied to all their new aircraft, including all Max 8s that I'm aware of right now. Obviously, the new Max Leap 1B engine, which is supposedly much quieter than the uh, CFM uh, engines that are currently on the 700s and some of the older 800s, or I think really all the uh, other 800s, with the uh, raked. Uh, with the raked part towards the rear, the raked uh, cowling, I should say. Can think of the word. The winglet, which, uh, as you are maybe aware of, the eight or the Max Eight does have a slightly t a slightly different type of winglet. It's not called the split skimtar. I think it's called just the split tip, if I'm not mistaken, something along those lines. It's very similar to the split skimtar design. Um, also, the older Airbus split tip winglets but uh it is slightly different but does look relatively the same I look towards the back with a Wi-Fi dome on top and again the tail number November 8705 Quebec which I'm pretty sure all the Max 8's the tail numbers start with November 87 and then so on that does seem to be the trend as a lot of the 800's uh, the tail number starts with N8, and then so and so, so on. And of course, the tail with the heart uh, design on it with the yellow and red. And we'll give you a look. Give you a look down the rear of it. Again, it is a great model. It really, is a great model. And I think it is definitely one of my favorites. Of course, I am a pretty big Southwest fan, but I can definitely say that this one is. Well, let's just say, it's it's a beautiful model can't deny that and we'll finish it with a look there oh I'll give you a look underneath as well um, that's something that I sometimes miss out on but uh, as you know with the Southwest models it does have the heart logo on the bottom and of course the Gemini Jets logo as well and like I said the landing gear uh, on this model I'm I'm pretty certain uh, also the inside of the engines as you can see Uh, but they do only come, I'm pretty sure, in the gear down configuration. 
Um, another thing I did find with this model, which uh, was kind of uh, interesting, is that it does feel a little bit heavier than some of my other Gemini 200 models. So that's uh, that was just interesting, but a very small detail. Um, I have never flown on the Max 8 before. I would love to. Um, I'm crossing my fingers to get really lucky because uh, my flight to Baltimore is supposed to be on an 800 and I have seen uh, sometimes what Southwest will do is because the 800s and the Max 8s both fit 175 passengers and they are virtually the same in, uh, same aircraft uh, really you know the Max 8 just being the newer generation Boeing and a few things here different like the engines and the winglets and uh, some some things like that in the interior um, but I, I have noticed that Southwest will sometimes put Max 8s on 800 routes or they'll kind of interchange them 800 on Max 8 routes that type of thing um, I think there are like 15 or almost 20 Max 8s currently in Southwest fleet uh, as of now um, so definitely a lot more 800s than Max 8s but I have seen that Southwest sometimes will put Max 8s on 800 routes and I just uh, think it would be pretty cool to get lucky enough to get one of those. But I have heard that they are definitely quieter uh, and, and very nice. I would love to get on a plane that has that new, uh, new plane smell, if you know what I'm talking about. But uh, this model, uh, if you're wondering price-wise, runs anywhere from about $80, 85 I think the highest for a model like this would be $90. Uh, I don't think I paid that. For this, well, I didn't pay anything actually, it was a birthday present. Um, but you can typically expect anywhere from about $80 to $90 for a model uh, of this size. Um, it's a relatively smaller model, so the prices obviously kind of depend on how big or small the model is. Um, but definitely reasonable for a model like this. Uh, but like I said, um, it is a beautiful model. Uh, I would love to get a chance to fly one of the Max 8s. Hopefully I will be able to, and if I do, definitely I'll have a review for you uh, on on YouTube coming up. Other than that, again, I am sorry about the Birmingham trip. That, like I said, will unfortunately be a no-go since we all did get sick and weren't able to go, especially me uh, being able to fly back with my sister. But other than that, this is the model. It's a great model. I highly recommend it. Um, I love it. Um, it is one of their new models, like I said, um, and I'm glad that I finally was able to catch up and do a review on it so again be looking out for new and upcoming videos and trips on my channel and uh, other than that thanks for watching